houses. Shame there's no surprise to my father. Good evening, welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. This is part six. Hope everyone's having a good time. Got a few things to do, as I can see. Find the remaining house tokens that are around Hogwarts. One out of 16? Is that on fire? Oh no, that's a reflection of uh, this teleport and apple. Have a look at our quests. The sixteen day dallying keys. Oh, that's quite a few. Okay. All right. Let's go to our defense against the dark arts class. And let's teleport there. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Well, there's a lot of reflections going on today. Um, ah, we're right here. take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Okay, I think perhaps taking our sneaky sneaky scale. Scale? Spell. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus, I'll save your life. Leviosa. Nice. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House, like you. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. 
I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Affected by time. That's horrid. I wonder if you can rewind time. I mean, it's possible, isn't it? Okay, so what are we doing now? What's our quests saying? Let's highlight that, see if we can actually see any Daedalian keys. I think they just may pop up. We just might have to just run into them. Okay. Right, let's head to Herbology. We'll walk there. It looks like we're better off walking to places than actually fast travelling, just in case we may encounter... Well, I heard that. Where is it? Revelio. Oh, sir. Did I just go the wrong what way? What are you up to now? <laughs> nice. Okay, well that says it all. I definitely have to start running about. Just in case. Those things could be anywhere. Rebellion. I want to turn my pet rabbit into a I have another one. Revelio. Ah, there you are.
Oops. I'm surprised the key doesn't start attacking you. They must be associated with every area. Hold on, is this a side quest? Don't lock me in here. Revelio. Okay, I've been in there before, I just forgot. Ah! Oh. Ah! Okay, that's pretty oh. cool. Everything is a secret. And this is just in Hogwarts. Could you imagine what's in the open world? Is she growing Punja's onion again? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bone. Then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. No. Nope. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. You would think. Oh, yeah, put your head in there. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Don't wait. Just have a look. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Yes, Professor. 
Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to Herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's Fancy or Roses? Okay, so we're about to learn how to grow our own herbs. Medicinal herb by using Wigan World Potion. Disney seeds can be purchased at any magic neep and can grow in pots of any size. The leaves of this medicinal herb are used in Wigan World Potion. Disney seeds can be purchased in a, in a magic neep. Okay, so it is like a countdown. You can add fertilizer to this plant to increase its yield. You can create fertilizer by conjuring a dung composter. Okay. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now! What say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Oh, great. Chinese chomping cabbage. What should I be doing right now? I'd like you to get some hands-on experience with the Chinese chomping cabbages. They're in the greenhouse, just across the footbridge. Mr. Pruitt will assist you with them. Keep at it. A garden requires patience as much as water and sunlight. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I knew. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. Uh, I almost lost a thumb once. No. Don't worry. Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me. You do not want to go through that. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. Hold L1 and tap R to open tool wheel. Oh my word. Okay. Look at that. 
Jesus. Anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoling, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Uh. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Vicious. Why is every magical plant dangerous? And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Uh... Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the Great Hall. Okay, where now? Indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Okay, so potions. Kind of want to get rid of the classes first. Oh, I saw something there. No. I did not realise that was a werewolf. someone from the ministry regarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. I saw an aura badge on Professor Stark's desk. I said oh, he knows oh, more I hear that. Aha!
Oh, he got me. Yes. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. It was luck. Ashwinder eggs and dark Mongol fur. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an endurance potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single whooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Whooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Very well. I'll bring you a whooper feather. Brilliant! 
Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I kind of want to see what he's brewing. Part of me is like, this is bad. Keep your potion station organized and together. Mirandum. Uh, Borging and Burks. Borging and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we're adding more orders to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. Right now, we're still in his money. Oh, this good little flooper. Revelio. Your potion should not be that colour, Miss McDowell. Here's the whopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Maybe you should wait till we're out of class. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Felix Felicis enhances the drinker's chance of success in their endeavors, specifically by revealing locations of large loot chests on the mini map. For one in game day. Oh, that takes a minute, that takes 30 seconds. Wow, this is a long 30 seconds. Skill? I just sit in there, chuck it in there, and it does it by itself. Definitely luck. I want to see what he's brewing. <laughs> what is he brewing? Thank you. Now, I definitely want one of these. I do like there's a little animation with this. Keeps it a bit more interesting. But there should be a bit more like animation. Felix Felicis. Wow, this is long. Nineteen. Wow, these timers. Thank you. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it. Oh. Oh. Dragon dog. What happened? Now, Mr. Weasley. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Uh oh. I knew that was coming. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. 
I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I, I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. At least he didn't deduct points. Well, is there a points board for this? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. No harm, no foul. Okay, where are we going now? Ugh, oh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Okay, when now? Um... Girl from Uagadu. Probably butchered that, but still worth a try. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I sent a love letter to Imelda Raven. I had to save that. I just had to. Amazing. Let's have a look, see if it played. Oh, it did. And... It did save it, didn't it? Yeah. Can we fast forward it? Awesome. <laughs> that's crazy. So I think that's the third time I've gone past them. The first time he just punched him. Second time. Oh, I'll just save it to my YouTube. Awesome. The second time he sort of proper shoved him and hit him. And the third time he did that. That looks like a door. There's a lot of zodiac things about this castle, isn't there? Revelio. Can't seem to get the smell of dragon dung out of my robes after that last bonnet. Oh, 
Hold on, can I? Okay, we can't go in there. Off on another adventure, are we? Rumor is Professor Hester used to work for the ministry. Or wonder what she's in. Wonder how sharp is she? Are we going for a proper adventure? We have the most annoying of all the prefects in France. Should we have a look what's in there? Rebellion. Can't actually go in there. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's blinding. I kind of want to have a quick gander. Ah, teleportation through desks. All these quillage teases. Where'd you put that broom? Oh, look. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, it's a shame he can't release a snitch. Dear Magum... Magum? <laughs> Dear Madam Kogawa, marvellous news that you will be joining the faculty at Hogwarts as our new flying instructor. I dare say our work together at Hogwarts will be less eventful than our time near Yokohama Harbour. Though one never knows, I shall look forward to seeing you soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please do not hesitate to send me an owl. Warm regards, Matilda Weasley. That's so cool, though. I'm not going to go in there until I get an actual broom. I still haven't got a broom. Can you believe this? They're all padlocked. Beasts classroom. What's that noise? What is that place? I want to explore. Okay. Moonstone. Thank 
thank you. Could have just fast travelled, but still. It's always worth the journey. Should investigate. Should investigate this place. Rebellion. thinking, what was that noise? <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. How nice to see you, my young friend. Yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him, but he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, 
Who knows when I'll be able to paint again? I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. I think that's going to be a later quest, but I'm glad we kind of accepted it. Oh, about your carts. Oh, yes. Still missing, unfortunately. I'm hoping they return to me soon, but I fear my hopes may be in vain. Revelio. Okay, let's Not get back sure to the story quest. A little place like this. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I'm not sure I should be telling everyone, to be honest. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? Rebellion! Sure, let's go get involved in other people's business. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! 
precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Oh, really? We should just dive down to see it. Cool. Oh, I can walk. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Elf made ivory gloves, cool. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Don't see any more places where there's bubbles. Oh, wait. Yeah, I would do that. I was thinking, oh, let's search over there, but I'm going to get distracted again. That's cool.
I mean... Am I actually doing anything? Can't see it. Oh, I got wet. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Okay. I'm not sure the benefit of that apart from showing me dive spots. But we did get a couple of uh, gear pieces. So let's have a look, shall we? That's down, that's down. I mean, they do look cool. I'm going to keep those for now, because you can upgrade them. Alright, so it's, it's the same type. A mermaid mask? For one at home in the depths of the lake, earned by returning Grace Pinch's medley's lost heirloom to her. There's only eight. That's what really gets me confused. That's part of the collections. Yes, okay, so that's what I've got on now. Let's wait till I'm level fifteen. Okay. Oh, am I not wearing a scarf? Oh yeah, that's that's bright as you like. I wonder if you can can you change the colours of these? Okay, for now we're sc we're gonna carry on looking like you know school uniform. And when I get a high level, that's when I start changing it all. Twenty nine, that's twenty eight. 
voyage gab. Cool, okay. They must have come this way, think! Lumos. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. Students, you can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid So, Akio, I'm ridiculous. Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? Did I just turn him into a chicken? <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, <laughs> the collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as weaknesses and certain spells. Oh, that's that's rolling. Okay. Oh, that's a rock in the face. I'm just on button. No, don't spell the armor. I pushed jump. Did you see that? It was like, oh. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. Oh, can I light that? Hold on. Uh. Incendio. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh. That's a no. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service, historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. 
but I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted. Incendio! Merlin's beard! The flames make the pyre sing. Hardly believe it. Ace a genius. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Oh, that's just brilliant. Ooh. Greetings. I understand you're quite the enterprising young Ravenclaw. Professor Fig tells me you found a long-lost book for him. I'd like to talk to you about it. I don't trust anyone. I go to Hogsmeade anyway. Revelio. Who? Leech juice, that is disgusting. Revelio. When do I get my broom? Play like. Ten houses, ten hours of this already. Ooh, there's something over there. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm on a leech hunt. Rebellion. There's some I stuff who here. Lives here. 
After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. Hi, you live here? Just searching for all your stuff. Revelio. Hey, sheep. Oh, my gear slot's full. My gear slot's full? What, can I have like 10 items? Oh yeah, 20. I remember. Oh, there's some funky glasses. Some shade. Hold on. Wand handle. Oh, that's cool. Have we got any items I can destroy, though? Oh, well, that was totally not worth it. Oh, there's a vendor there. I could have just... Okay. Fine. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Any whispers going about the town? There's a thief on the loose by the name of Katrin Haggerty. She's an ashwinder. She's stealing everything that's not nailed down, and people have had enough. Katrin's hiding in a camp just southwest of town. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. But I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. It's the standard price. My price is a low enough already, you see. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Oh, I see you sell the classic leech juice. Uh, Maxima potion. Spell damage. Wigan world potion. That's healing. Let's sell some stuff, shall we? I wonder if I should keep the purples. Let's sell the green. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Oh, in fact, that's 150. That's 200. So is orange... Orange is like the max tier, then I'll take it. Highland attire. A 
Okay, I'll keep legendaries for now. Oh, I did level up. Oh, okay. I won't sell that. I hope to see you again sometime. I'm sure you will. Oh, now I've got these glasses. I can just wear them wherever I feel like. Oh, I look amazing. Okay, we're not going to look like a pimp until we've got the powers. The pimp powers. There you go. Uh, I think that's it. Can I sell this? Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? May I see your wares? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I would like to sell this and this I hope to see you again sometime that's okay and then what I can do Rebellio it's like a place right out of a storybook this whole game is like a place out of a oh wait it is out of a storybook Oh, I can't go in there. Okay, that's selling stuff. We're not going to run to hook. for my wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my carts. I'll get your carts. So we are going to teleport. Okay, so that's Hogsfield. Ah, oh, so it marks the Merlin trial. Should we do that? Alright, let's do that. Let's travel there and let's go do the Merlin trial. What are you up to now? It's the loud daffodils. Oh, the leaves. I was like, what's that? They're amazing. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Oh, my God. Rebellion. Let me also. Akio. Let me also. Okay. Lumos. Let 
Levioso. Accio. After all, Merlin. It's a good tactic that. Try every single spell, see what works. Lumos. Okay, we'll fast travel. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Okay, give me one second, I'll be right back. Right, let's begin this quest, shall we? Good of you to come. My friend, Professor Fig, speaks highly of you and your resourcefulness. He was vague as to details, but mentioned your having tracked down a difficult to find book. I wondered if you'd be willing to do a little detective work on my behalf. Of course, Mr. Ollivander. Sounds most up my street. Wonderful. You see, about a century ago, an heirloom applewood wand with a fairy wing core went missing from this very shop. My great-aunt suspected a student named Richard Jackdaw. 
He'd been serving as an assistant here and suddenly vanished. Richard Jackdaw? Like the bird. In fact, he was known to frequent the Hogwarts Owlry. We searched there, of course, but found no wand. We did find a series of statues similar to Jackdaw's. I'm certain they're a clue, but I cannot figure out where they lead. Jackdaw was last heard tittering about some pages with a map he'd stolen from Peeves. As you can imagine, the poltergeist was less than helpful. Surely you could continue searching the Owlery? Oh, one would think. However, the Headmaster does not take kindly to an old wand-maker loitering about the place. Can't say I blame him. Also, I have perhaps been looking for too long. I feel a fresh set of eyes, and a bright mind like yours is sure to solve this riddle. Is there anything special about the wand? Oh, yes. It's terribly special. But not in the way you might think. It won't grant special powers to the caster, no. Nothing like that. But it will ease the hearts and minds of the Ollivanders to know of its return. And that power is immeasurable. Why would the thief have taken the wand? I must admit I have no idea. From what I can gather, he fancied himself an adventurer of sorts. Always looking for trouble. In fact, after he went missing, rumor had it his ghost was seen in Hogsmeade. Never heard much about him after that, but it seems as if his adventurous spirit may have got the better of him. Perhaps he thought that the wand had some special power simply because of its esteemed lineage. Astonishing how misunderstood the art of wand-making is. I'll have a look for you. You certainly give me plenty to go on. Ah, oh, you've brought hope to this old wand-maker's heart. Professor Fig was right. You are a remarkable student. Let's get investigating. The... The owl. Rebellion. Oh. Ollivander's wand shop. Wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility. Each possessing one of the three magical cores. Choose their owners in this cosy, cluttered shop run by the Amag... Amiable and knowledgeable Gerbord Ollivander. In the profession of wandcraft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. Is there anything else I can get here? What's this? That's still locked. That's the Quidditch shop. It's an owl. Revelio. That looks like a place full of lots of stuff. Hold on. There is a chest over there, I, think, I believe. And a door. Oh. I wonder. Akio. Let me also. Uh. Maybe. Repairer. No. This kid doesn't sleep. Okay, let's go to the owlery. The owlery. Oh. It's not even in Hogwarts. Okay, that's kind of... Is it in Hogwarts? It's the hourly... The hourly that take that temple that temple what's wrong with me is it that tower
that's the owlery. Owlery. <laughs> oh, okay. You want to send me to some tower? This makes me want to watch the films again. Uh, oh, there's owls on the owlery. I'll just pick some of those. Ooh. So much freedom. Statues Mr. Ollivander mentioned must be upstairs amongst the owls. Rugged dueling gloves. Oh, so the owlery is the owl home. That makes sense. This is called an owlery. Oh, okay, that's freaky. Surprise is not so much. Surprise is so clean. I have to be careful what I was about to say there. Oh my. Oh, be my pet. <gasps> Snowy owl, be my pet. Oh no, you look nice. Be my pet. Oh, you got some serious bug eyes. Don't mind me, owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Now, where are those statues? You are awesome. I recognize those handles. The summoning charm should do the trick. Accio! I'll take that, thank you. <laughs> Nothing. Rebellion. Oh, here we go. Hogwarts Owls. School owls and owls owned by students can be found in the Hogwarts Owlery. One is advised to explore carefully, keeping an eye out for owl droppings and regurgitated mouse skeletons. Oh, <laughs> that's disgusting. Accio. No statues here. Empty perches could be the right size for jackdaws or statues of jackdaws. I'd best keep looking. Ah, here's a welcome surprise. Accio. One, two, so... I'm looking for a seven. Oh, there's more up there. Birds aren't afraid of heights. Perhaps I should look a bit higher. I saw that. I saw that. I saw it. I saw the book. Nothing. No statues here. I'd best keep looking. Nothing. 
This will do nicely. I mean, did he just know that this was... Oh, wow. Okay. That this was the puzzle. And I was like, oh, I have no idea. Maybe you should check the owlery. Luminous candles. Is there a place where these saves? So that's the dark wood. That's the bridge. Luminous on the candles. There's a pulley there. That's Jesus. That's Hogsmead, isn't it? That's the dark wood. Night, obviously. That's the bridge. I wonder if you have to go that night. Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. It's an actual quest. Alright, okay. Let me answer. No statues here. I'll take that, thank you. I'd best keep looking. Accio. <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> Here's a welcome surprise. Is that all of them? Revelio. Hello. Well, that's messed up. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Good news. If you've got something to hide, you found the perfect spot. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? So Mr. Ollivander was right. He wants his family wand back. Goodness. I'd forgotten about that wand. I assure you, I don't have it on me. I'm almost certain I dropped it the moment I was beheaded in that cave. Oh, it was sheer folly to follow that map. What map? Ridiculous, really. Found it on some yellowed old pages Peeves had pilfered. Thought I could impress a girl. But that's a story for another day. So, you stole a wand and then followed a map on some pages that you took from Peeves and followed that map to your doom. Odd to hear it all reduced to such absurdity, but yes. Why do you care about some old wand? I don't, really. Ollivander does. It's the pages I'm after. Might they be with the wand in the cave? Indeed. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest? I'd be happy to show you where to find them. I think I can guess how you died, but who did it to you? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do visit the cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. 
Why would you steal Mr. Ollivander's family wand? The family were always going on about how special it was, so I took it. Who could resist? Sadly, it wasn't special enough to save my neck. I fully intended to return it once I learned it was only special for sentimental reasons. But as you can see, I never got the chance. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He's got a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I doubt he even noticed they were gone. If that's the only way for me to get those pages, I'll meet you there. If you don't mind the sight of a, well, my decapitated skeleton, the wand and the pages are yours for the taking. Okay. Uh, meet me at the Forbidden Forest. This is bound to be a very bad idea. He's so tiny. Revelio. Wow, you can see a lot from up here. Oh, well, that seems to be an easier idea, doesn't it? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. What was that bridge? It was here, wasn't it? My dearest Apollina, would you care to join me for a picnic? I know you enjoy good Cornish pasty almost as much as you enjoy a good mystery. See you soon, yours, Richard. Lumos. So we're not actually supposed to be allowed to go in here. Frogs sold here. Caution centaurs. Dangerous. By the Ministry of Magic. Revelio. What is that? shouldn't even be here, should I? Revelio. Oh, there's actual enemies here. Okay.
charming house cloak. look like anyway they look cool for later oh I picked up another wand handle that's probably my favorite so far Revelio They're dragonflies. They are. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, Here we're just, I am. We're just as sleeping. Good as my word. Lumos. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Only a Ravenclaw would travel this far in pursuit of knowledge. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, Lumos. and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Revelio. Lumos. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Revelio. Oh, it's the spiders. <laughs> I'm out. That's me done. <gasps> yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. No. Accio. Let me also. Oh, my word. Okay, that was intense. They just all came out of nowhere. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh yeah, yeah. Accio. Okay, let's be a bit more clever and pay attention to what I'm Incendium. doing. Levioso. Accio. Whoa, okay. 
Incendio. Accio. Oh, wow. Well, they're just coming out of nowhere. Inse okay, he popped out of the ground. I was not expecting that. <laughs> I've got to be a lot more mindful of what I'm doing. It's all been like, oh, it's easy, it's fine, there's nothing going on. We could just go straight in, and all of a sudden it's like, nope, chucking you straight in the middle of all this. It's only 20 seconds. Ooh. What are you up to now? Not too sure. Akio! Let me also. Akio. Incendio. Let me also. Potato. Stupid one. Incendio. Akio. Levioso. Oh, I hate that. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Oh, my word. Oh, he's too big. Potato! Stupid time! Stupid time! Stupid time! Stupid time! Akio! Incendio! Levioso! Oh. oh, there is something. Nothing to do now but keep going. Oh my god! Inside the Stupid fight! Oh, I hate spiders. Um, <laughs> I put this is. This is a horrible level. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. I forgot I have to do potions and everything. Incendio. Okay, we need to not go up there. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw is surprisingly as good as his word. Oh, there's something in there. This game's actually quite challenging. <laughs> well, it's just chucked me. Straight into it. Not that I mind. It's a bit of a learning curve, isn't it? It's like, oh, we're taking it easy. We're taking it easy. Everything's fine. Spiders! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, they're funky. Not good for daytime, but they're funky. I've got 
What am I doing? I don't know where the hat. Yeah, I'm no longer a student. So I'm gonna... Dress as not a student. It's like a superhero outfit. Might as well make the effort. Can I save it? Oh, maybe I can save it. Setting. Settings. Yes. Please. Do not want to fight those spiders again. Rebellion. Sorry, peasant. Rebellion. Levioso. Can I? Oh no, what did I do that for? Rebellion. Okay, there's a lot going on around here. Can you hunt stuff then? Am I supposed to hunt these? Oh no, you can capture them. Okay, that's later though. It's like a little hunting ground. Rebellion. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. resource indeed your field guide I'm most pleased to be included talking about scaring the crap out of me Rebellion. this can't have been left here for this long Now I'm here, I'm going to save it again. It's actually a good mission. Intramuros. No. 
when you were a little far from home. Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But... <laughs> you are horrible for this. Let Really, it is. You've been paying attention in defense against the Dark Arts, I see. Come on, they're taking out our feet! Well done. Let me also. Stupid What are you going to give up? Potato, why can't I give you? Stupid one. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. Wow, I'm pretty evil. <laughs> I didn't mean to be. Rebellion. Sure, this looks inviting. I wonder how big this place is. Revelio. They lit for long. Revelio. I need to light all three before they time out on me. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Revelio. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Revelio. Okay, I'm just starting to get a bit more under the knack now. Revelio. Okay, we need to take our time. So is that, that's the way I need to go. 
which says to me I should definitely go the other way. Oh, I can't. Incendio. Here they come. I am not going in there. Akio. Oh my god. I have to go in there. Okay, they know I'm here now. It's put me in instant crouch. It's quite... Fine. I'm not going to touch those. Protego! Stupid one. Incendio. Accio. Potato. Stupid one. Okay. Rebellion. This is such a horrible, 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 horrible place. Oh, well, this looks inviting. If could summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it. Yes. Probably. Let me check something. I'm going to check if this is the opposite way I need to go. Oh, you sneak up behind me. Incendio. Oh, that's the puzzle. That's a jackdaw could solve this, so can I. This has got to be the way to go. Which means I need to go back. The next symbol is hidden somewhere. Revelio.
Oh, behind the rock. There's the symbol. Oh, behind the rock. Revelio. Okay, so we're going back this way, because that's the way I have to go. Revelio. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Revelio. No. Oh, let me open this box. Accio. Incendio. What a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. The more I play, the more evil I sound. Not that I could play it, just damn. Okay, so that's locked. Well, that's a significant drop. Oh, that's a significant jump. Yeah, I mean, great stats. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Oh, I actually like that. Oh, so it does add more. Okay. All I need is a saber. Call me the Scarlet Pimpernel. Do I have a hood? Oh, it doesn't have a hood though. But still. Standard deliver. Accio. Oh, can I repair that? Repair it. Nope. An untouched chest. Tactor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Can I not take the big golden plate and the dragon egg? Revelio. I'll be taking those eggs and everything with me. Hold on. What's down there? Looks so cool.
Revelio. Hold on. What am I missing? How am I missing that chest? Accio. It's down there. It's not up here, is it? Okay. Revelio. It's there, but how do I get there? That's going to bug me. Revelio. I really feel like I'm missing something. Rebellion. Maybe there's another way to get there. Oh, if I look on the map, there is. Okay. Actually, funny enough, okay, I need to be a bit more careful now. I can hear something. I can hear something in this cave. Oh, it sounds like a spider. Ooh, it sounds like a spider. Revelio. Oh, you tried to trick me. I see you. Akio. Revelio. I'm not falling for that. Can I jump up here? Oh. Revelio. Action. They're going to jump on me. Ah! <laughs> this is horrid. Rebellion. I don't care. I don't. I don't care if you're not doing anything. Cast fiends. Oh yeah, you show your anger. Ugh. 
Revelio. That's such a glow. That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Uh, well, if it was me, I'd have tried to get to the end as quickly as possible as soon as I saw the spiders, so... I don't blame him. Revelio. <laughs> it's a bit like, nope, okay. Where's the end? Where's the end? Oh. It's no. a good thing Jack Dawe didn't fall down there. Akio. Well, help myself to this. Akio. This is a quest by your teacher. Repairer. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Incendio. Oh, yeah. Incendio. Oh, because this looks so inviting. learning so many more new flammable spells. I should save my specials because I've got a feeling there's going to be some sort of spider fangs, some sort of boss. An untouched chest. Tactor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Incendio. This guy's like, oh, he's a wimp. <laughs> I'm a wimp. Akio. Oh, you want some? Akio. Incendio. Potato! Stupid one! Levioso! Stupid one! Akio! Mm. 
Nice. Potato! Stupid one! Akio! Stupid one! Levioso! Stupid one! Akio! Incendio! Once you start getting the hang of it... It took a moment to start getting the hang of the buttons and... Right, because you haven't been doing combat for ages. Once you start getting to that rhythm... It's absolutely amazing. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Hold on, was that Dark Arts Cloak? Let's have a look. Oh, that's a cool robe for school. Still like that. I love that. Oh, that's cool. I'm starting to get into the... Uh, We're starting to get some good clothing now, aren't we? That was cool, but I, I, I would wear that. <laughs> There's a twilight. Where was the dark arts one? Was that it? That's great, but yeah, man, I'm well up for that. Change your mask. Too sure what I want to wear now. <laughs> I'm loving this. Uh, no, I actually, I actually do need a scarf. Outpost. During school, he's just a normal teenager. is pretty big. Revelio. What is that noise? Ah! 
Accio! Where's this slate? I don't need that sort of... Jesus. What's the slate jumper attire? I need to have a look. Okay. Just not the same, is it? I'm well up for my Scarlet Pimpernel. Aha! That's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this. No. Way, but there's no sign of him. Oh, we have to get rid of some gear. destroy these well that was totally not worth it Ugh. shame you're so foul Akio. Oh, I kind of feel like I need to go down there. Why well, is it really worth it for some flowers? The game's going to change for those mushrooms. Gear slots, gear slots. What can we destroy? 16, that's 90. Destroy nose. What else? Destroy anything that's green, basically. The thing is, once you've picked them up, they're there. You can always change your look, which is awesome. Revelio. I have potions. I haven't used a potion yet. This is just a dead end. I didn't even need to be here. <sighs> oh, so I had to collect these anyway. That's awesome. Oh, I remember. Follow the lanterns. Revelio. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm saving. Save game. Wow, I've been doing this mission for about an hour. What's there up? it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. 
Oh, there it is. It's obviously a boss fight. More spiders. These can't be what they had with your jack. Stupid Stego! Stupid fight. Incendio. Stupid fight. Let me Stupid fight. Oh, oh, Bloody heal. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got confused. Levioso. Oh, my word. Imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jack came this way. Oh, that was, yeah, I, cause uh, I'm not. The red bubble came up, and I was like, "What's that for?" And I forgot that's dodge. Revelio. And then my fingers all got like confused <laughs> with all the buttons. At least I remembered what hill was. That saved me, that did. Ooh. Well, that's for the trials. That helps. What a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. I need to look around for the symbol. Okay, it says one. And there's the other two. Alright. Amazing. All this in a cave. So this is just a dungeon. I must be getting closer to Jack Doyle's remains and those pages. Or oh, he lied. Oh no. Oh no. We know what's coming. Save is coming. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Ah, oh, shame. Those splinters must be what's left of Ollivander's wand. At least I can take the pages. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room?
Can I uh, repair out the Wondo? What? That's unnerving. What's happening? Ooh, half moon spectacles. Revelio. Repairer. You should be able to just, you know, pick up the bag, brush up the uh, wand. Rebellion. Starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? The nuts. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Rebellio! Rebellion. 
Um, sorry, you got the wrong guy. Bye. Lumos. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic has unlocked talents. You receive one talent point for each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend your talent menu for your field guide. What? <laughs> oh dear. I've got 12 talent points. Oh dear, you've earned talent points starting at level 5. You must spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells to increase your combat powers. Stealth and more. Choose wisely. Talent points may only be spent once and the number of talents you acquire will be limited. Return here often to see what new and powerful talents await you. Okay. Oh my word. Okay, I'm not going to choose now because that's just like full on. But I will. You're just a painting. Can I travel to all these different locations? Revelio. Yeah, if I start picking them now, I feel like I'm going to be rushed. I'm going to need to take my time having to read through everything. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Hold on, can I just teleport to the map room? I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Aha! How nice to see you, my young Revelio. Lumos. Am I Hogwarts? Dungeons. It says something. If this is Hogwarts and your school has dungeons, that says something. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Accio. Oh, 
Oh, I better get out of my superhero clothes. <laughs> because I don't want anyone to suspect anything. Flying class? Oh, what? Required level 6 and I'm level, what, 13? 16. I got a bit carried away. Okay, so... Let's change back into my school uniform. Some school uniform. Oh, yeah, because that looks like school uniform. That'll do. Uh, oh, that looks nothing like school uniform. <laughs> Let's see with the knee-high socks. On oh, the mask. Oh yeah. There okay. go. No one will suspect a thing. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna save the game, and this is an awesome place to end it. We've got a lot more to do tomorrow. And flying class. Excellent. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good night. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Take care now.